If I run and if I win, I will bring jobs back, believe me. We'll bring them back from China, where they're ripping us like you've never seen. On the campaign trail, China was one of Trump's favorite targets. He blamed the country for taking away American jobs. They think we're run by a bunch of idiots. I'm angry when China's making $500 billion a year and sucking our, our jobs and sucking our money out of our country. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. He accused China of manipulating its currency. I'm going to instruct my Treasury Secretary to label China a currency manipulator, the greatest in the world. After the election, some of his criticisms continued. The field has not been a level field. Jobs have been leaving our country, going to China and Mexico. But Trump backtracked on promises to label it a currency manipulator and embraced what he saw as China's tougher stance on North Korea. By the time Trump and Xi met for the first time at Mar-a-Lago in April, the president was treating his Far Eastern counterpart like they were best friends. The relationship developed by President Xi and myself, I think, is outstanding. We look forward to being together many times in the future. And the charm offensive continued in October, when Trump piled on the flattery after Xi was anointed to a second term as Communist Party leader. Now some people might call him the king of China. I happen to think he's a very good person. The country that was once accused by President Trump of sucking away American jobs and money has clearly come a long way in a short time.